guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Reading Bear, and I hope you are ready for some more stories. And today, we'll take a look at some new entitled people content. If you enjoyed my content, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and post some bear emojis in the comment. And now, let's dive right into the stories. The first story is titled I ended up calling them a four-lettered word. I always thought these stories were the stuff of legends until it finally happened to me. Last weekend I brought my car to the dealership for an oil change and inspection and had dinner planned soon after, so I was dressed in a collared shirt and dress pants which also happens to be the uniform of the dealership sales team, minus the name tag. The dealership has a waiting room on the main floor just next to the service station, and that's where I was standing around, helping myself to the free coffee. Then I hear it for the first time, behind me. Do you know when my car will be ready? There was nobody else in the lounge, and I knew right away she had to be talking to me. I was annoyed on principle that she half shouted it at my back. Hello? I've been waiting 45 minutes and need to go soon. I turned around, my lips still glued to the coffee cup, and I just stared at her, saying nothing, because my mood now went from annoyed to amused. Her. Are you deaf? Where's my car? Me. Ma'am, I am sorry, but I can't help you. I am sure if you ask an employee here. I am asking you. Then good luck, I said, and turned around. Her sigh was loud enough to almost rattle my teeth and she stormed off to the bathroom. Moments later an employee comes over and asks me if everything is alright. I explained the situation and she smiled and asked me to direct the lady to her if it happens again. I said sure. A few minutes later the bathroom door opens, and I hear aggressive footsteps, so I look in that direction and see her making a beeline at me and stopping a foot away while pointing a finger at my chest. You are a terrible employee. I've bought three cars from this place and will be going to, competitor brand. S the next time I need a car. Ma'am. She stepped even closer to me, so I could now smell her breath. This is the worst service. You are unprofessional, and I want to. Me, losing my cool. Listen you dopey duck, I don't work here, why haven't you figured that out yet? She stammered and said a few words that I can't remember and suddenly the employee I spoke to earlier swoops in and leads the lady away who has a stunned and angry look on her face and soon after I could hear was already well into her next session of complaining. I sat down in a chair to finish my coffee, but I was so jacked on adrenaline I ended up playing the situation over 100 times again in my head. Later on, I got an apology from the real employee which was nice but unnecessary as I don't think the client's behavior is their responsibility. In any case, these situations are truly more fun to read about than be in. The next story is titled My Driveway is Not Your Guest Parking. I saw another post on this sub that reminded me of a situation that happened last fall. I get off work at 11 pm and once I got home to find a neighbor's guest parked in my driveway. I thought about calling a tow truck, but I was hungry and tired, so I blocked them in instead. I eat dinner and fall asleep around 2 am. I heard someone pounding on my door around 5 am and yelling about work but I was too tired to care so I ignored it and went back to sleep. If you're going to park in my driveway, you don't move until I feel like you deserve to. I heard more pounding and yelling around 7 and ignored it again. I finally got up at 10 and I guess my neighbor saw me in the kitchen because he came over and started pounding on my door and yelling for me to move my car. Not my fault your friends are stupid. I ignored him again and continued about my business. I left for work at 2 pm and my neighbor started yelling about how I was a idiot for parking where I did, and it was my fault his friend was late for work. I'm standing there in scrubs trying to leave for my job at the hospital and I told him that his friend was lucky I didn't have their car towed and if I came home to a car in my driveway again I was calling a tow truck. He got mad and was still standing there when I drove off. The car was gone when I got home, and it hasn't happened since. The next story is titled My Little Moment in Hell. Hey, first time poster here. This happened to me a while ago, and I thought you folks would get a kick out of it. I had reported to work on this particular Monday where I am the site supervisor for an armed security account, only to discover that the blasted idiots that work the night shift had not only left me an empty coffee pot, a mortal sin, but had entirely cleaned me out of coffee, leaving me not but an empty container devoid of my much needed morning caffeine, the inconsiderate so and so, s. Grumbling, I go off to the local market to buy some caffeinated goodness so to keep my heart beating through my busy day. 
Mind you, I am in uniform, which means black pants, dress shirt with my badge and various security emblems, my duty belt with firearm, baton, handcuffs, etc. etc. For the sake of those squeamish folk out there that go all white in the face when they see a firearm, I have also donned a windbreaker with security written across the back in six inches high day glow yellow letters. In other words, I looked nothing like any of the folk who worked at this market, whose uniform consisted entirely of a green apron. Now mind you, I probably could have handled this better, but I was grumpy. It was a Monday morning without coffee after all. So, I am standing just inside the door of the market reading the chalkboard where they have written their menu for the small cafe they run when this entitled wench, hereafter referred to as EU, on her cell phone, walks up to me, and tries to hand me a slip of paper. Okay, I'm a bit confused, but I take it and give it a look. But as soon as I do Iu makes a little shooing motion and walks away and sits down at a bench by the door. Never says a word to me, doesn't even really look at me, barely acknowledges my existence and just walks off. So, I'm kind of annoyed you might say. Look at this piece of paper and it's a list of you guessed it, groceries. Hum? WTF? So, I wander over and politely inquire as to what exactly this is and why she had seen fit to hand it to me. M. My grocery list of course, fetch them for me, I'm in a hurry and can't be bothered. I'm on a very important phone call. And again, with the shoeing motion. Now, I've been going to this market for nigh unto five years, and I can assure you, they don't fetch, your groceries for you. So, after some consideration, I very carefully rolled her list into a tight little ball, dropped it on her lap, and loudly growled at her to get off her lazy ass and do her own damn shopping, turn around and walk off. I hear her screeching out something behind me, but I just ignore her and keep walking. Now at this point I am seriously thinking that EU will take the hint, see the day glow letters on my jacket and buy a clue. But oh no, EU is just not that smart, she instead chases me down and starts yelling about how she's going to get me fired and I need to fetch her damn groceries right now. Trying to remain calm, I politely, honest, but forcefully tell her again, very clearly, I don't work here, do your own damn shopping lady, and leave. Thinking that's the end of it, off I go to get a cup of wonderful hot coffee at the cafe and then move on to the Isle of Heaven, where I am busily perusing their fine selection of lovely roasted goodness, when who should appear but Eu with a gentleman in tow. She's loudly berating him about his lazy workers, and demanding I be fired on the spot. The poor gentleman looks confusedly at me, then at her and informs her, he doesn't work here, we don't employ security ma'am. Being a bit of a jerk, I wave at her, give her a big smile, and agree with him. Eu absolutely loses it, goes completely insane. Starts screaming that I need to fetch her damn groceries right now or she is going to get us all fired, and she is an important person, and how we will regret treating her this way, blah, blah, blah. The gentleman finally gets a word in edgewise and again informs her I don't work there, and I don't have to do anything for her. That is when I can see a dim little bulb go off in her head, and can see a glimmer, tiny but there, of understanding begin to dawn in her eyes. This dim light is however quickly squashed by her overinflated sense of entitlement as she promptly replies in the snottiest voice possible, I kid you not, with. Eu. Well, he's obviously a menial of some sort, make him. To say this got me a tad riled up is perhaps an understatement. I so I shoved a one finger salute into her face and told her emphatically to go screw herself. The gentleman quickly got between us and loudly told her, in no uncertain terms that one. Again, I did not work there, and two. That she needed to get the hell out of his store. Right now. Iu literally screamed at the top of her lungs, no words, just rage, and started demanded to see someone in charge so she could get us all fired and someone better get her damn groceries, and how she was going to sue us all, damn it didn't we know how important she was. The gentleman, who I had naturally assumed was the manager, promptly got right back in her face and yelled over her that he was the owner, his family had owned the place for 20 years, and they had never in all that time done someone shopping for them, ever. He then grabbed her by the arm and literally dragged her off towards the front of the store. At that point I was just shaking my head in disbelief, but I just went ahead, made my selection of fine coffees, and wandered over to stand in line to pay for it. As I'm there at the register the owner came up to me and actually apologized for EW's behavior, and we shared a WTF moment. Actually, ended up just laughing at how stupid EU was. Or crazy, either way. 
He even tried to let me have the coffee for free, but I thanked him and told him it wasn't his fault that EU was a nut, and I was fine with paying for it. Now, you would think that that was the end of it, I mean, it was crazy, but weird stuff happens, people are idiots, whatever. But oh no, dear readers, it would appear that we had both underestimated the depths of EW's craziness, because as we walked through the door to the outside world, who to our astonishment was there waiting for us? EU it turns out had actually called the police on us and the dumb idiot was out there screaming at the officer demanding that we be arrested for not serving her, and how she wanted us both fired, and she was going to sue, and that someone had better get her damn groceries right now damn it. My jaw dropped, I don't mind saying it, and I was beyond shocked. I honestly started laughing at that point. This lady was certifiably nuts. Because of my job we happened to work closely with the local PD, so I actually recognized the officer that had responded to the call and gave Officer Betsy a wave when she looked at me. She gave me a grin and walked over asking me about exactly what the hell was going on. We both gave our side of the story and the owner asked that she be removed from the property, please, as she was at this point causing a scene. Betsy just rolled her eyes, walked over and told EU that she needed to leave right now, immediately, or she would be charged with trespassing. Now, you ever have that moment when you can see something bad start to happen, but your mind just can't quite believe it's actually occurring? Well, I saw it start, clear as day, as EU reared back and started to go off again and yup, there it was, she actually jammed her finger into Officer Betsy's sternum, not once, but twice. Might have been a third time, but Officer Betsy had at that point picked her up, flipped her over, and dropped EU on her head. Landed on top of her, had her handcuffed in record time, got back up, opened her door, slid EU into the back of her patrol car and slammed the door on her. And we all just stood there shaking our heads in total disbelief as EU started to scream and thrash about and kick at the windows of the squad car. She was still doing it as Officer Betsy drove off to the station too. Saw Officer Betsy later on that day, and she told me that EU was still throwing a fit when they got to the station, and fought the officers there like hell, until they ended up stuffing her into a control chair. She was later transported to the hospital for a psych eval. No idea what happened to her after that. The next story is titled I should be fired for ramming a cart into my truck. This is a very mild I don't work here lady, and more I don't work here man. I had gone grocery shopping and was taking my stuff out to my truck in the cart. As I pull up to the truck I let the cart hit the bumper. All of a sudden a male Karen appears. MK. What the hell? You think that's okay? Me. What? MK. What the duck is wrong with you? Me. Sir, I don't know. MK. You hit that truck with the cart. I can't believe you are so irresponsible. You should be fired for that. I realize he thinks I work there. I tell him a basic, I don't work here and start loading my groceries in the back as this dude yells at me. I thought dude would realize that it's my truck I hit. He didn't. MK. That thing is a classic. I want to see your manager because that was unacceptable. Turning to him because I don't think he heard what I said, I repeated myself. Me. I don't work here, dude. This is my. MK. Don't give me that bullcrap. I want to speak to your manager. Then one of the guys that does work there came up. He asked if there was a problem. The dude started ranting at him that I had scrapped the cart along the truck after ramming it. He wanted me fired. The employee looks at me and asked if I was done with the cart so I could take it back. I said yes, grabbed my last bag I sat in the back. Then I went and got in my truck and started it up. The male Karen's face got rather red as I pulled away. For the record, my truck is a mid-90s S10. Technically a classic in my state, but not what I would think of as a classic. Also very rough condition. The next story is titled Karen tries to order pizza from me while I am eating pizza myself then refuses to believe I don't work there. For context, I work at a chain bakery that has a bright blue polo shirt and khaki colored pants as the uniform, with the bakery's logo embroidered on one of the sleeves. Coming home from work on the bus, there's a small plaza at the stop before mine that has some pretty bomb pizza, and every once in a while I'll stop by the plaza to grab some and walk the rest of the way home. The uniform there is a fire truck red t-shirt with the logo completely covering the back, and black pants. If someone can tell me how Karen got this mixed up, I would love to know. The cast is myself, me, Pizza Girl, PG, Manager, M, and Karen, K. Anyway, here's the story. 
On this great day, I was running on three to four hours of sleep, a cheese croissant and coffee, had just gotten off an 8 o'clock to 1500 shift and hadn't had time to grab lunch while on break, so suffice to say I was hungry. Hungry enough that I didn't even care that I was still in my work uniform, I just wanted some food pronto. So, I stopped by the pizza parlor, grabbed a slice, some Mountain Dew, and a cookie for the road, and sat down a happy customer. I had my headphones in and was scrolling through my phone while I ate when the staff disappeared behind the counter. No biggie. About a minute later, Karen walks in. It was just me in the place at the time, and the staff was still in the kitchen. The most attention I gave her was a quick glance before looking back to my phone and taking another sip of my pop. I assumed she would just go up to the counter and order, you know, like a normal person, but I assumed wrong. Before I knew it, she was standing right beside my table and giving me that good old disapproving stare only Karens are capable of. This was our interaction as follows. Me. Taking an earbud out and lowering my volume, can I help you? K. Hi, can I get a, starts listing her order. Me. Catching on pretty quickly. Oh, sorry, but I don't work here. K. Pauses as if this information was too large of a worldview shift for her to process, and in the end, her brain just could not compute. K. First, don't interrupt me, that's very rude. Second, that's a uniform. This is an establishment. I know you work here, so don't give me that attitude. The logic of this Karen made my own brain short circuit, and I guess it showed on my face cause the next thing I knew, her jaw dropped in shock and she was railing me on my horrendous work ethic, and berating me over wearing headphones on the job, and eating all the product that's meant for the customers. She even went as far as to say that I'd made a huge mistake, as she was a regular and had more than enough leeway to get me fired. Side note, if she was a regular she would have known what the uniform looked like SMH. It was around this point that I remembered the logo on my sleeve and just wordlessly turned my arm and pointed at it. Karen stops yelling long enough to give it a proper look and I could see the color just drain from her face. I'm a petty little crap, though so to rub salt into the wound I tacked on a not so friendly, see that? Company name. What was this place called again? Then, not two seconds later an actual staff member shows up behind Karen and asks if there's a problem. I thought that was the end of it. K. Yes, there's a problem. Your coworker was extremely rude to me. Yup, that's right. Karen was still insisting that I work there. Pizza girl looks at me and recognizes me as the girl she just served. PG. Uh. Ma'am, she doesn't work here. K. Don't lie to me. I want to see a manager. PG goes to get her manager, all the while Karen is giving me the snobbiest death glare I've ever gotten in my life. I just sighed and took another sip of my pop. Then, PG and her manager come back out. M. Hi, what's the problem here? K. That girl refused to take my order and was extremely rude to me. You need to discipline her. M. Same as PG, looks at me and knows I don't work for her. She doesn't work here, ma'am, but I can take your order if you like. Finally, Karen leaves me alone and follows the manager to place her order. I could hear her complaining about me though so I started packing up my things to eat my pizza at home and in peace. PG stopped me though, handing me a takeout bag with another slice, garlic dip, and a cookie. She said it was both an apology for having to deal with Karen, and a thank you for being one of their nicer regulars. Still puts a smile on my face, and this was yesterday. On my way out though, I heard Karen demanding a free pizza. I hope those guys turned out okay. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and post some bear emojis in the comments.